storm that could send the earth into darkness? Really? May not be the next summer blockbuster, but it is a real life prediction. Fire and brimstone, our meteorologist Jackie Jarris is here to explain. So here's the question I have. It looks cool to look at those pictures, yeah. but it is a pain in the butt for us on Earth. Yeah, it certainly will be. We've already had complications these this year from geomagnetic storms and solar flares. Uh, but what happens if a massive solar storm comes directing right at Earth? It's the same kind of scenario that we talk about uh, when we say a major hurricane could hit New York City or a 9.0 earthquake uh, could hit Memphis, Tennessee. If we get one of these massive storms directed at Earth, we're talking global consequences here. Now, there are different types of solar storms, and each one has different types of consequences. But let's talk Talk about the big three issues that we're dealing with here. I've got a graphic that will show you that power grid. That's one of the biggest concerns. There could be a complete collapse or blackouts of power grids. What happens in these geomagnetic storms? It brings additional electricity to the current systems. And if the currents and the grids can't handle it, eventually transformers could be destroyed. So we're talking blackouts, not just for days, not just for weeks, maybe even years. So imagine you live in L.A., the city goes dark, we don't have any power, we rely on uh, power to give us our water, to do our sewer systems, to pump our gas, to do our ATMs. So that is really a huge global impact there. Our satellite systems and GPSs, all of that would be gone and it could go out. Now measures can be taken to direct satellites in, into a different place so they're not right at that incoming solar storm, uh, but if a catastrophic one happened, there's not a lot we can do. It also has an impact on aviation. Remember what happened, Ashley, uh, during the Iceland volcano and what that did to airspace in Europe? Something like that could happen because of radio blackouts. Oh, yeah, there were dozens of canceled, maybe hundreds of canceled flights, delayed flights. It was a real bummer. Yeah, it absolutely was. All right, well, we'll keep an eye on this, Jackie. Thanks, uh, thanks for the pictures, too. They're fantastic. Yeah, it's great beautiful. to look at, just not nice to talk about.